Hey girl, hey, happy Friday, happy feel good Friday. Look, I pray everyone had an amazing, amazing, beautiful, powerful, impactful week. And I pray that your weekend is the same. I wanted to hop on and talk to something that's been sitting in my spirit for the past couple of days. Once it sits in my spirit for a while, I feel compelled to share it. And it is simply, um, and I speak about this in my book, Beauty from Ashes. Oftentimes we ask God to give us something to bless us with something that we have not yet prepared ourselves to receive and what i mean by that is and i'll equate it to this you keep praying and asking god to give you a brand new living room set but you forgot that god gave you a brand new living room set three years ago and you ain't take care of it the living room set is sitting in your living room you done spilled coffee on it the dog done peed on it it's got rips and tears and holes and stains in it and you're wondering why god has not blessed you with this new living room set that you keep asking for and it's because you didn't appreciate the one that you received the first time so what makes you think god is going to entrust you with another blessing when you squandered the one that you were given previously um <laughs> Ooh, that's a word for somebody. I'm sorry. Um, but I want to come to you this morning and talk to you about preparing yourself to receive um, your next, your next blessing, your next thing, that next um, path that God is going to put you on. So there's a couple of things we need to do to prepare ourselves for that. Um, the first thing we need to do is clean up our mess. You are not going to get a new living room set while you still got that old raggedy one sitting in your living room. You need to clean up your mess. Whether that means cleaning up your surroundings, whether that means cleaning up your mindset, whether that means cleaning up your spirit, cleaning up your circle, cleaning up your credit, whatever it is in your life that you know is, is, is a mess, you need to clean it up. And once you clean up that mess, leave it alone. See, a lot of times we clean up things and we give things to God. And when I say clean up things, that's what I mean. Give it to God. Pray on it and give it to God. A lot of times we do that and then we go back and we be like, yep, it's still there. Yep. Stop peeking at the mess. You gave it to God. Let God handle it. All right? So after you've cleaned up the mess and you've, and, and you've learned to leave the mess alone, the next thing you need to do is you need to be patient. You need to be patient in your waiting for your next. Your next is not going to come the minute you give it to God. It's going to take some time because God needs to make sure that you are ready to receive it. You need to be faithful and patient in your waiting. And one of the most important things, isolate yourself. Be quiet. See, a lot of times we talk ourselves out of a blessing <laughs> because we're telling everybody about it. Once you have asked God for the thing and you've done the thing that's necessary to receive that thing, be quiet. Everybody don't need to know what's going on between you and your God. Once you have done those things and you sit and you wait and be patient, and when I say be patient, I mean be patient. There are some people that have asked God for a thing and they are still waiting and they asked years ago. There are some people, it took 10, 15, 20 years to receive what it is they asked God for. But in the midst of you waiting, be patient, be faithful. I pray you all have an amazing day, an amazing weekend. You all go be impactful in this world. We need that right now. Go positively impact the world and do it intentionally. You all be blessed on this beautiful Friday. I will talk to you later. Bye.